Good morning, folks. Today, one of our programmers working on the disaster prediction app factors decided to see how good the coronal hole factor really was for that Sumatra quake. A small filament releases at Earth. We ready for solar wind perturbations this weekend, hit our top news, answer some questions that came pouring in yesterday, and peek in on our weather. But first, one of our coronal hole factor programmers heliographically located the Earth-facing position on the sun during that massive Sumatra earthquake dead center in a coronal hole. Southern coronal hole extensions like this one have just been more powerful than northern openings like the last one. This has also been visible in the polar fields data. But let's just come left of that equatorial coronal hole where a small filament lifted up and released in the earth facing position. Soho is missing a ton of frames as of this morning and I'm not really sure we'd even see it anyway, but with the coronal hole having cleared its path to Earth, it may offer a minor shockwave that acts as a cherry on top of faster particles from the coronal hole itself. Either way, this was the only Earth-directed event, only one in days, except of course for the coronal hole sending its IMF and EM emission our way. This holds true even as solar flaring finally cracks back up into C-class range, still pitifully low, but about five times stronger than any flare the last day. And the reason is the surge in sunspot number. New spots born on the disk to complement existing ones with leading umbral polarity reversed in the lateral spreaders very close to each other longitudinally. Same negative chorizo fest over there on the left. Solar wind is calming. No geomagnetic disruptions. Another coronal hole stream is expected this weekend from that one that triggered Sumatra. You can already see another coronal hole coming in on the south, but that is actually just a different extension of the same polarity that shook our planet two days ago. The departing opening was the shift from positive to negative. I've mentioned a solar eclipse coming when Jupiter opposes the sun here next week. Nobody in the Americas or Europe will get a good view, but if you live here, it will be one heck of a show. Top news includes an enormous sinkhole that opened up in Branson, Missouri, swallowing an enormous part of a golf course. This video is from the Weather Channel. They went a little SO with it, but that's okay. Everyone's using the wind maps now, too, when they were originally called childish. Giggity. A terrific paper came out that will literally make you laugh out loud at the notion of a habitable zone before you're done with the introduction. Oh, life can just pull it off in a wide array of places. Lastly, folks, we made a huge surge yesterday at the Disaster Prediction app, and questions about my founding members club comment came streaming in. So yes, that is what's printed on the hoodie, and yes, I'm going to tweak the t-shirts a bit to say it too, but it's not just at that level you get recognition. Everyone who donates any amount to the cause is in the Founding Members Club recognized on the app site and on the credits page within the app itself. So while you may not get a hoodie, a t-shirt, or even a free version of the app when it comes out, if you show us you have faith in our ability to deliver, you're in, and we will. Pressure and radar here. It's 4.30 a.m. in the shadow of Sandia Peak. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.